this is a decade later. Blockbuster is gone now. This yeah. is unbelievable. It's a really sad sight. You know, uh, you can still see some of the blue tile up there. See that at the very top? A little bit of that blockbuster. And over here where they had the uh, the awnings, you could see the holes in the wall that said blockbuster right yeah. in. You can kind of see where it all stood was right up there. Oh, yeah. Blockbuster always had that like movie theater entrance fill, and yeah. you, you can definitely see it here still. I remember renting Rugrats in Paris and getting a really <laughs> cool pack of fun stuff afterwards. Did y'all rent that one here, or is it a different one? No, that one was probably in Oklahoma. No, that was Oklahoma for sure. We can barely see in there through there. Hopefully later we can... Well, actually, look. I hope y'all can see that, okay? It's, I know it's the, the glare is really bad. We're going to go around here and see if we can maybe get a better look inside. Still got the same warnings from the original. <laughs> oh, let's see. Store employees cannot open safe. Okay, I think... I think they're okay there. <laughs> All right, we're coming around the uh, north side of the building. Now I'm trying to get a see if we can get a better look in here. Let's see if this window is. It's still pretty much different. all blacked out. I think they did that to like protect the film. Looks like there's a fat guy in there holding camera. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> I think they did have that uh, the film here because with VHS tapes, the sun can damage it. So oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. See if we come up closer over here because it looks like some of the black stuff peeled off. Yeah, I guess this was like the storage room or something. Let's see. Oh, cool. Look, they got the popcorn, uh, gourmet popcorn stand in there still. Looks like they have a stamp, another stand. I don't know if it's a DVD stand or a movie stand. All right, the glare is so bad. I'm really struggling to show you all some of these racks still in here. You can barely oh, yeah, make it out where they had the, uh, where they had popcorn and candy and all that stuff in there. Yeah, it's just, the glare is so bad. Okay, we came around back over here. I think the city just put this back here because they just had nowhere <laughs> else to put it. Out of sight, out of mind. We're going to go ahead and take this home. You know what's weird was when you look in old pictures of this, it's still wide open. For some reason, this area, which is a good area, but yeah, it's just... Look right over there, too. Yeah. It's a huge field. Yeah, there's just nothing. This is the back door. I guess there's no way to get in here. Yeah. Whoa, I can't believe the drop-off is still there. I wonder if it opens. Yeah, maybe we can get a shot inside that way. Oh, well, yeah, it does. Hold on, let me see if I can, hang on a second. Let's see if we can get a better look. Whoa, you can get a pretty good look in there. Cool, it's like we're inside. There's the classic register areas. It's really big in there. I guess there was a, a lot of shelving for DVDs and VHSs at one point. Man, I wish we could get in. Yeah, it looks like we can't really get much more footage here. But one thing we want to show y'all was in about a five to six mile radius, there's two more. Two more, uh, I guess they used to be blockbusters, but now immediately they were repurposed to something else. So we're going to go over there and show you those real quick. Okay, this is actually another uh, former blockbuster. This is about, man, maybe a mile from the other one in uh, North Virgin Hills. Uh, when this one closed down, they quickly turned it into a Panera Bread, and then uh, they halved it and uh, also put an AT&T store right there. But th this one was quickly reutilized for something else. So, did not sit vacant very long.
We're going to go up to another one that's a little further up the street also. This one is in Haltom City. It's about five miles away from the vacant Blockbuster. This one, this one's a resale shop now, but you still see the blue awnings. Still some of the old, uh, some of the signs that this was actually a Blockbuster at one point. And this is the sign over here. The sign of the shop that's there now, of course, that once had the, uh, the old Blockbuster ticket stub sign. Hey guys, thanks for coming out, seeing with us, and checking out this abandoned Blockbuster. It's really kind of weird to see it abandoned. I remember the last time I rented a movie was probably in high school at Blockbuster, and uh, it was Diary of the Dead, and they were actually selling the DVD, so it was basically on its last leg the last time I went. Well, that was a long time ago, Nisi. Yeah, that was a long Back time ago. Back in high school? How old is that movie now? <laughs> Diary of the Dead? Like 12 years old. Jeez, wow. Probably. Yeah, well, this has, been, this has been closed down quite a while. Yeah. Quite a while. Um, I remember when y'all were little, y'all liked coming here, buying the toys and buying the expensive candy. Of course, I hardly ever did that. <laughs> I'd go cheap when we'd go to the dollar store. <laughs> around the corner. Well, they used to have those, like, packs, like like specialty packs mm -hmm. like when Rugrats in Paris came out they had yeah. the bags that had like little toys and stuff so that was a really cool part yeah. it was Hollywood video too and other you know awesome video stores but Blockbuster was the most popular at that time yeah, most, uh, you know one thing about Blockbuster uh, it did kill all those mom and pop video yeah. stores those were so cool y'all never really got to see those by the time you girls got a little older it was all just yeah. corporate stuff so that's probably a good thing because there was some weird things <laughs> Well, I guess that's gonna wrap it up. So, guys, if y'all have any suggestions on where y'all want us to go, uh, just leave a comment, and we'll, you know we'll do what I can. Right now, we're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, but we're gonna be going out traveling soon. So, any suggestions we would uh, gladly take into consideration. Thank you for uh, coming out and seeing with us. Y'all have a great day. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.